Orn meta successfully. And this is one of the champions he did it on. Mordekaiser has also gotten buffed since LCS playoffs where he played the Mordekaiser uh, and, and stomped the Orn. So impact in on favor of EG. See where Inspired wants to put his attention. Not really a great place for him to gain at this exact moment. That said, Impact, I think there's been the strong point, really, for EG across this tournament so far. He and Inspired both feel like the Rocks for the sure. team. But that might be in jeopardy now as Yankos goes in. The pull back, instant kill coming out there. First blood. Well, this is it has in this case only about a 500, 600 gold lead for G2. Bit of a fight going out here, though. Impact. Good damage in the sustained Conqueror fight. Stacked. Conqueror proc passive proc Broken Blade hitting level six first, though, is going to be big. That's the knockup right back into the Ram Horn. Good shield comes in from Impact. Extended trades, again, usually favoring Mordekaiser here. Broken Blade taking his level advantage, though, and trying to get something a little bit more out of it. Impact, how close is he to six? That's going to be the big question here. Exactly. You know, <laughs> they're they're brawling next to the minion wave that's dying. Um, bottom side, they do get Dragon for G2. Take a year. The Death Realm's going to expire before he actually does anything meaningful in terms of damage. Broken Blade, though, maybe he's going for a cancel on the base here. Caps on the way up. Knockup already connecting. Fullback is there. Impact in the area. Inspired, rather, in the area. Is Impact pulling Broken Blade into the death realm. Really, his only GG. option. Flash back over the wall. Impact <laughs> trapped in his oh. own death realm. Oh, it's not where you want to be. Here comes the monkey. Ooh, and that, uh, uh. again, that's how I set it up. So you know exactly each step that's going to happen. Here we go, though. Kick goes in. Oh, that's going to be the steal. That's big. They pick up the eye as well. He's getting locked down. Someone's going to grab it for sure. Vulcan now going into the midst of the entire team. Inspired already taken down. Impact decently strong, but could get burned out very quickly. Shield might not be enough. Caps going invisible, but it looks like he picked the right one. One more oh, obliterate. Oh, oh. Does he have any? Does not. Caps on the end. This situation where EG, if they're a little bit more ahead in this early game, play a much more comfortable 1-3-1. One, one. Can split the team up. And maybe the Mordekaiser fight can work out here. Realm Warp now coming up. Broken Blade going to get some unexpected company when he finally leaves the Realm Warp, or rather the Death Realm. But so far still, he's just running. BB, the Q flash on the edge. The darkness gonna finish him off with Caps. But ultimately, he had walked into that bush. It might have been very difficult. Caps though, unafraid. It looks like he is gonna try to connect the first chain. The kickback, they're gonna burst him down instantly. Well played by Inspired, firing back. On the bottom side, as you highlighted previously. Argamus now locked up. A lot of chains. CC Rum Warp coming in. Jojo looking to make his presence known on the bottom side. Nautilus going to hook out to safety. TP now coming in to dissuade the dive. Targamus blinking health bar. Yankos 1v1 versus Inspired. Lee Sin surely has to win this one. But the second out stack, the clone to block the Q is massive. Yankos now feeling confident. He's flashing back in. He knows he can win this one. But the heal coming in from Jojo. Summoner's Spellbook saving the day. Yankos trying to get this out. Caps on the way back in. Can he pick up the rest of the kills? They're moving away. They're body blocking. He cannot connect to chain. Caps getting absolutely. Played EG the team play phenomenal in that skirmish. The gorgeous. Also, EG, if impact comes, remember Mordekaiser can ult a jungler so they can't smite. If they really wanted to make sure they could get it, he would have to get in there and ult Yankos. We send Q hard to steal away from that. Target is now locked up. Yankos making his way out of the pit, but he's been locked down. It doesn't look like he's gonna get a second ult charge off. Just barely manages to do it. Inspired kicking caps out of the pit. Dragon still standing, EG pushing forward, Impact managed to take down one, EG, this is their fight, Blackhead running for his life, he doesn't have any mana, he's gonna try to hexgate out, Inspired, barely. <laughs> pushing for more, Inspired's, Inspired's for hungry for it, the flash over the wall, Inspired, no ward to hop to at this stage, EG getting a dragon, G2 still backing away, Caps waiting over the wall, big damage, it's really gonna delete his support, it's like season three all over, baby, Impact though, firing back. That is one beefy Mordekaiser. Broken Blade forced to flash out to safety. Inspired on the backside. Flacken. Bread buff, but no mana. The exhaust now comes in. Danny leaping back in. It's madness with the shield. Just barely keeping alive. Danny manages Whoa. to survive. He's burning. He's playing the shield. That's why we play the best to die. That's what I like to hear. All right, back to the split push there, though. Rise, JoJo does get the top tower. The outer tower going down. All in accordance with that split plan there for EG. So they do have some more room to work with. They also critically put a stop to that dragon stacking. Uh, it, Impact did not actually go for the ult on Yanko. the top turret. So this dragon will be traded. In, in, in for this gold of the top tower for G2. Because the dragon stacking was already broken, the streak there is already broken on number three, G2 suddenly drop huge priority on dragon. If you are able to ultimate the correct champion, you know, uh-oh, Vulcan, Vulcan here though. In no man's land, thought he was safe, thought they had recalled, thought they were gone. But of just the setup of a tournament that has three pool one seeds. Guess what, four, four uh, semifinal spots, three pool one seeds, the, the one in a row going to lead them up to having soul point in five minutes for themselves. The soul dragon. Play. So, uh, definitely displaying all aspects of the champ. But Vulcan oh, again! Vulcan! 
Oh, no push is safe. Don't forget the Garen rule. Vulcan now running for his life. Broke play trying to block off the exit. Danny has been knocked up and immediately it's flagging at the backside. He's exhausted, but he's got the QSS. He's oh, quick on the Vanguard. Five. That's just it. EG, they were sitting comfy, but G2 take it away in an instant. Oh, boy. He's got death cap in inventory right now, Dracos. That's what that was. My goodness, Vulcan there gets picked in the river, and EG tried to elixir it. there. He's, he's got a, an elixir. This is really the key. G2 with Baron buff, with elixir on caps, they can just push this Baron win. That team fight meant everything. This is going to explode in a gold lead. They did get a ward down on caps. They saw his position now. This dragon is gone, though. Just instantly. Taken away, no chance to respond. Impact maybe thinking he could help Jungler out, but now that's a perfect lineup coming in for the Ornald. It's not going to hit anybody, though. It goes wide. Impact. What's he going to do? Isolated, broken blade. Now trying to leap back out. G2 grouping is fine. That's going to be the own ultimate, but it's onto the tank. Inspired coming in. They're looking for, for an angle, back. but it's caps over the wall. Laying down a little bit of damage onto Inspired. Inspired trying to finish the job. The chain's just out of range. Death Realm now coming in. Yanko's isolated, taken away. He cannot alt the team of EG. Yanko's getting the second spinoff. Impact now going to be in trouble. He goes golden. He tries to buy a brief moment. Jojo Puna Danny caught out, though. Impact flashing out to safety and instantly flacking. And caps descend, waiting for the blood in the water, but they will find their prey. And every G2 member alive to tell the tale. Inspired here, gonna try and defend, but it's one EG member versus the entire G2 team, and they're going straight for the base. Easy push down mid, and again, these fights are so close. There's so many instances where you think maybe he's going for the minion wave. He can find an edge. He's going to cut the minion wave, but G2 already have one inside the base, so it doesn't matter. They can usher this cannon wave up. And the Nexus turrets will drop. And that's it. It was back and forth. G2 ahead in the early game. EG fighting back, finding a lead of their own, finding advantage, and it all getting knocked away from them in an instant. As G2 descended upon them, keeping the win streak alive. 23 and 0. G2 knocking down EG for the fifth time this tournament.